Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Gio. This is Matt. And today we are drinking... Brothers Bond. Brothers Bond. Yep. Tell us a little about it. It's a bourbon. Oh, it's a bourbon, guys. And this is actually a celebrity bourbon. Have you ever seen uh, The Vampire Diaries? No. Oh. We had this discussion. Okay, we'll forget about it then. So on The Vampire Diaries, two of the main characters are um, brothers. They're vampires, but they're mm -hmm. brothers. The two actors who play those brothers, uh, Paul Wesley and Ian Summerhalder, got together to make this bourbon. Oh, okay. And on the show, they're always drinking bourbon. Oh. Like, literally, like, they're always drinking bourbon on that show. It kind of makes sense that they would make bourbon. So, I believe this is an MGP bourbon. Yeah, distilled in Indiana. So they're um, brothers on the show, but not in real life, right? No. Just best friends? I think so. Something like that. We should make a bourbon. Right? I mean, it's probably not going to sell. I mean, probably not. I like the smell of it. It smells good, right? It smells like, it, it has like that classic bourbon smell, but it, I feel like it's a little bit lighter than that though. Getting that vanilla, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of chocolate. Almost kind of fruity. Mm. That's interesting. It's almost creamy. Yeah. It's not bad. I think most celebrity whiskeys are kind of intended to appeal to the masses as opposed to like a whiskey lover. But I, I mean, this one isn't bad though. Mm. I don't feel like this one's for me. No? What makes it not for you? Like the, I guess the lightness of it? Yeah, it is pretty light. It says here, Brothers Bond is a story of time and quality, two things we all cherish in our life. We feel each moment of our friendship has led us here to create this exceptional bourbon that we are thrilled to share with you. Uh, we're giving back a portion of profits to support regenerative agriculture and farming practices to slow climate change by sequestering carbon while producing oxygen. By purchasing a bottle of our handcrafted bourbon, you are also making, helping to make the world a better place one drink at a time and we thank you. And then they've both signed it in Summerholder and Paul Wesley. Oh. So. Not bad. Here to helping climate. Mm-hmm. Bottled and distributed by Brothers Bond Distilling Company, Fort Smith, Arkansas. But it does say distilled in Indiana. So I think they sourced this from MGP and then bottled it in Arkansas. So MGP, and I don't know if you've ever talked about MGP here on the channel. MGP is this ginormous distillery in Indiana. And a lot of small distilleries and even not so small distilleries will source their whiskey from MGP. Mm -hmm. So instead of making the whiskey on their, you know, themselves, they'll source it from MGP and then they'll either just, you know, bottle it as they receive it or they may age it for some additional time or finish it in like a different type of barrel. That's what Crowded Barrel did with a lot of their stuff, all the Eleanor ones that we've had. Mm -hmm. That's all sourced from MGP and then they finish it in different barrels. Oh, okay. And a lot of small distilleries will start out that way until their stuff has gotten enough age on it to actually release it. Hmm. So that's what they did here apparently. It's, it's 80 proof, so I don't think you're gonna get too much from oh, an 80 proof whiskey, but it doesn't have a bad taste. Hmm. I don't think it's for me either, but I can, I mean, I at least kind of appreciate what they've done here. And this is all over the place, so it must be doing well. Oh, you're just drinking stuff faster than I am today. <laughs> All right, gonna go ahead and put this it's in the infinity bottle. bottle. We're getting there. We are getting there. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I was like, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> you're just like helping me too. You're like, no, careful. <laughs> you're like ready to go, just go ahead and try the infinity bottle. <laughs> like, why is this bottle so much heavier than I figured? Well, it's almost full. Yeah, I feel like after vanilla, like the ba the standard like vanilla that you get in bourbon, I feel like chocolate for me is like the next most prominent like, smell. Mm. So what would you rate it? I'd probably rate it a six. And I say that because I don't think it's bad. Like it doesn't taste bad. If someone poured this for me, I wouldn't be mad, but this isn't something, I probably won't buy another bottle 
And it's it's probably gonna take me a while to finish this one. I'll go for a six two. Okay. Like you were saying, it it's just not for me. Mm -hmm. It's very light, which I've tasted light drinks before, but it has a lot of flavor. This one doesn't feel like it has that. Yeah. It has no bite whatsoever. So if you like smoothness, this one has that. For me, it feels like a little bit watered mm -hmm. down, a little bit too much. But I know you're saying it's 80 proof, so yeah, it feels like it's expected. But I taste it ones are what 90 proof, which is only five percent more, and yeah, has a lot more flavor. And I feel like I've even had like 80 proof ones that don't they don't taste as watered down as this one does. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long this aged. Um, there's not an age statement on here. It may be like a younger whiskey. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it just wasn't in the barrel long enough. Maybe, or maybe it was in the barrel. Cause it's, it's not a very dark color either. Mm -mm. So, is that like amber color? Distilled and crafted in the tradition of all great bourbon. <laughs> I'd be interested to know how old this one is. Yeah, I mean, for what it is, you know, celebrity whiskey. Well, did they, so this is like, just the whole bottle itself is a signature one, right? It's not like a signature of a Matthew McConaughey one. Oh try. yeah. You know, like it's just, it's his signature, but the bottle It's is. part of Wild Turkey. Yeah, no, yeah. this one, this is its own, Brothers Bond is its own brand. Okay. I think the two friends own it. Okay. And so, yeah, no, Brothers Bond is those two. Okay. Yeah, that was my, uh, I'm sorry, my harsh review. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, it was honest. And I'd be interested to see like what they do because as much as they drank bourbon on that show, I have to think that those two guys have to be into bourbon. So I don't know, we'll see if they come up with anything else in the future. Like uh, maybe one that's a little bit higher proof or what. But their cast strength. Yeah, we'll see. All right, well, that's our review mm -hmm. for Brothers Bond. And be sure to come by next time when we'll review something else more yeah thank you so much for watching uh hit that uh, subscribe button and notification bell leave a comment down below saying what your favorite celebrity whiskey is i know we've asked that before but tell us again yeah. and until next time we will see you later bye, bye.